What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. So the slimming has happened. The slimming of my e-bike has started. As you can see here, I took the mid-drive off. There used to be a BBSHD 1000 watt mid-drive on my bike. I took that off and I took the triangle battery off that I was using for it and that removed about 30 pounds from the bike. And so that's my main goal right now is just to kind of, this bike has got way too heavy. It doesn't need three motors, it's just kind of overkill. So I took the mid-drive off. I'm gonna probably put the mid-drive on a different bike in the future so that I've got a couple bikes. Uh, but I need to do some maintenance on the mid-drive first because it it was it's a couple years old and I've been really tough on it. So, But anyway, so today, my bike is no longer the three motor bike. It's no longer a mid-drive. Now it's just, a, it's got dual hubs, right? So we got the G62 in the back and the G60 in the front. So those are the Bafong geared hubs. I just put the uh, the 32, I think, it, or I put the 36 tooth chain ring and the bottom bracket back on my bike that came with the bike, my crank arms and everything. So the bike's a lot lighter. I can do some pedaling. The 36 tooth chain ring kind of tops out at like 25 miles an hour, so I'm probably gonna have to I might turn it into a uh, like a front derailleur so I have a couple options up there but I'm not sure but for now I don't plan on doing like a ton of pedaling but it does feel easier to pedal than when I had the BBS HD on there that does introduce some resistance to pedaling especially if your BBS HD is like uh, needs some maintenance mine was spinning there was a lot of resistance to spin the pedals on mine so but yeah, so anyways, we're gonna we're gonna ride around with the dual hubs. The rear hub is on 72 volts and the, the front hub is still on 48 volts. It's just I would have to get a better controller for the front hub to get that on 72 volts. So the front hub can go up to about 32 miles an hour and then the rear hub can get can do like 40 plus miles an hour. So I'll have fast acceleration up to like 32 miles an hour and then from there I just use that rear one. But yeah, so let's uh, let's go ride it here. Let's see if this is yeah we're recording. Okay. The bike feels a lot lighter. It's a lot more manageable. The rear hub is on the cycle analyst right here, and then the front hub is on this 500C display. this thing sorted out here. There we go. It was like crazy hot and humid earlier, but now all of a sudden kind of cooled down.
Look at this guy carrying that thing over on the sidewalk. Oh my god. He had one of those trailers on his bike and it was like bouncing around. I hope there's no baby in there or like a dog. And it's one of those deals where like, oh my God, there's a bike on the road. Slam on the brakes, stop the car. What do I do? It's a bicycle. You gotta love those drivers. They like freeze up when they see a bike. It does not compute. We got the fry holder full of fries. It's actually kind of nice being lazy and not having to shift the mid drive. Uh oh. We've got bicycles crossing ahead. Goodness, I don't know if you should be driving that. I gotta find somewhere to eat these fries quick. I require sustenance. I'm not gonna make you guys watch though. All right, let's carry on. We're down by the river. We teleported instantly. So I'm just gonna pedal it down the path and see how it feels. It's doable.
<clears throat> That's doable. I'll have to weigh the bike to see how much it weighs now. This is all me, boys. It's all me pedaling 10 miles an hour. Now I just need to get this other extraneous battery off of here and I'm gonna build one big monster 72 volt battery and then I think run both of the hub motors off of that one. That's enough pedaling. Maybe I'll pedal down here too. I think no matter what, e-bikes are just not ideal for pedaling unless you've got some kind of like a really lightweight one. I'm hoping it doesn't rain because the weather said it's not supposed to, but Lately, you never know. The weather people haven't been super accurate this year. Oh, let me pedal up here a little bit. Oh. The rear hubs 3000 watts max. I can hear some kind of bearing knocking around in the rear hub. I think that might need maintenance too. I have a spare one.
All right, guys. So I think I'm going to cut this video here. This is the first ride where I had the BBS HD removed from my bike. So now it's just a dual hub motorbike. Kind of trying it out. It feels a lot lighter. The hub motor feels more powerful just because there's a lot, there's like 30 something pounds less on the bike. But yeah, so I'm gonna keep changing things up. I'm gonna build a battery pretty soon, so you have to stay tuned for that video. In any case, peace out.